So I recently shared a bed with Jack Howard. Insert shipping here. It was a last minute arrangement, but the way it happened isn't really important right now. That's not for you to hear, that's for my therapist to hear. Or my marriage counsellor. Anyway, about halfway through the night, I, I sort of turned my body to the side, so I'm facing away from Jack. Again, hold the shipping. What happened next is still a little bit confusing because I was half asleep at the time, but Jack turns to me, gives me a little punch in the back and goes, yes! I turn to Jack as if to be like, what are you doing punching me in the back? And he's completely zonko, he's gone, he's well asleep. What was he dreaming about? <laughs> On to the matter at hand. I've met a number of celebrities in my time and they've all been in sort of different circumstances but they all have one thing in common and that is me making a complete arse out of myself. There was a time I met kids TV presenter Stephen Mulhern and told him that I went on a holiday and came back as orange as him. And there was a time when I served Jack Osborne a rhubarb crumble but forgot his custard. And that's never good because Jack Osborne is known for liking his custard. Jack Osborne, son of Ozzy, custard lover. But there are two instances that really stick out in my mind and those are the ones that I've selected to share with you today. <laughs> Oh no. The first involves my meeting former Girls Aloud singer and Strictly Come Dancing finalist Kimberly Walsh. Now, you'll remember from my Seven Facts video that I was an extra on the Ministry of Mayhem and part of that job was that I had to wear this white boiler suit that was too small and a big old blue hat. I looked... I looked silly. The Girls Aloud were on the show and they were performing one of their songs which is what you do when you're a pop group, appearing on a kid's Saturday morning show. The day before, they'd got to go to the Big Brother house and run around the little sort of camera rooms where you can look through the two-way mirrors and see the housemates without them knowing that you're there. And I was a massive Big Brother fan at the time. Hold your judgment. It was very popular when I was young. Anyway, during some downtime on the Ministry of Mayhem, I was sitting in the green room, eating a biscuit, watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch, just relaxing, when I turned to the side and I see Kimberly Walsh just gliding gliding down the corridor towards me. Big smile. I really wanted to talk to her, but I didn't know what to say. And she's getting closer. You know, she keeps just on her merry way down this little corridor and my mind is racing, just trying to find any form of topic. And let me tell you, it is slim pickings. I finally land on Big Brother. And so I turn to her and I blurt out the question, what was it like in the Big Brother camera rooms? Lest you forget, I'm eating a biscuit at the time. So I sprayed biscuit all over Kimberly Walsh while asking her a question about Big Brother. Yep. The second story that I have is a little bit more recent. This past Christmas, I was looking for a present for my girlfriend, who likes sports, just like I do, and I find out that the sports TV presenter Claire Balding is signing copies of her book at the Big Waterstones in Piccadilly. She likes Claire, she likes books, bam! Present. So I go to the event, pick up a copy of the book, head in towards the table where she's signing stuff, and then I realise... That's Claire Balding, that is. She's well good at presenting. I quite like her. Maybe if I can speak to her and be witty and insightful, I'll make a really good first impression. She'll remember me. If I can make her laugh, it's been a good day. Important note, this was a Christmas event, and as you walk in the door, they give you a glass of wine. I don't drink often. I took this one to be polite. Big mistake. I go up to Claire, I give her the book, and she asks me who to dedicate it to and what message to write. And I freeze. I just about managed to remember my girlfriend's name of four years. That was a small victory, but as to the message, I am stuck. And I just kind of go, I'm not good with words, that's your job. That's not funny. That's not a joke. She knows she's good with words, she's got a book. Claire, being an absolute trooper, plows on and is like, does she like sports? Does she like animals? Does she like the Olympics? And I babble and just kind of go, she just, she likes you. I left that shop filled with shame, but with a boss Christmas present and a mince pie, so... Swings and roundabouts. So those are my stories. Here's the audience engagement part of the video. What are yours? Share your embarrassing celebrity moments with me. Did you meet someone and spit at them? Did you accidentally trip up the queen as she was waving away to her people? Did you also share a bed with Jack Howard? Did he punch you or was that just me? <laughs> Psych, I wasn't finished. Go up there and watch my previous video and go down there and I don't know what I put there, so it'll be a nice surprise for us both. Also, on the 4th of May, I'm going to be at the Lincoln Gathering, which is in Lincoln, surprisingly. There's going to be a gig in the evening where I'll be doing a set and telling some jokes and singing some songs, and there'll be some other people on the bill who are not as good as me. But go along and support them anyway. There is a Facebook page for the event down there. Tickets link is also down there. Or if you can't afford tickets to this show, just come to the gathering anyway. It is on the 4th of May. It is at 11am at the University of Lincoln. Bye.